Hello and welcome to a new video here on Computer Cat Gaming. And today I thought we would try some Minecraft on Windows 98. And yeah, I got the idea from Draga1. If you already clicked on this video, you probably have already seen his. If not, you should probably do that. But either way, um, in this build, uh, it's a more powerful build than what he used. I think he got like a uh, 5200 uh, Nvidia card, but this is a 6800 GT, so it's quite a lot more powerful. And I think he got an Athlon XP. This is a dual core uh, uh, Athlon 64. Not all the cores are gonna be usable in Windows 98, so kinda a waste, but that isn't really a problem for me. And uh, yeah, there's 2 GB of RAM, and yeah, that's too much, so not everything will be usable. But I've come around, so everything works. Just works. So, yeah. Still, there's a few problems with the computer, like... It can't really use SATA ports, port connectors, I mean, like, if I use them, Windows 98 goes like fully crazy. So, right now I don't have uh, them, uh, yeah, they don't have any use right now. So, all the uh, data is on IE hard drives. And, um, yeah, without further ado, I think we should start the computer. Let's turn off the flash and try to focus on the screen. And yeah, here you see the processor. Sorry for like the lighting and stuff. I think it should still work. So uh, yeah, here, this is the fun part about this computer. It's like, it's that I got several operating systems to fully work with this computer. And also, I will just put on the side panel, so we don't get too much noise. Still, we will hear a lot, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, less sound now. But either way, it's a very loud system. The graphics card makes some of the noise, and the CPU fan also makes. But either way, you see I got several operating systems running, stupid autofocus, how can I get rid of that? And um, yeah, 7, XP and 98. And then a secret here that you won't really find out in this video. But today we're gonna just try 98. And here it's booting up. Also I uh, the USB drivers don't work, so uh, no USB for, or at least USB flash drives for 98, and that's kind of, and that kind of sucks. Let's see if we can install the wireless mouse. It should be able to, I hope. Yeah, it worked. Because my sister took my normal mouse. Um. Let's put in the installer disk. Okay, maybe soon it will work for us. Oops. Oh, it changed because Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> I, I get it now. It's because my USB is plugged in and for some reason um, it, sees, uh, it makes a replica of the default drive and uh, yeah, it really does nothing. So <laughs> let's see how it works without having it installed. Um, start computer, 98. Okay, it should work now. I don't think we got anything corrupt this time. Oh, 
Also, I should be more careful with how I reset the computer. But I got lots of backups, so I can easily restore them. See? Now it's working. Here's what I said. Oh my god, it works. Okay, fantastic. Well, see? Now we loaded up Windows 98. Completely without issues. And let's look at specs. Uh, you might not be able to see it, but here we got an AMD Athlon 64x2 dual core processor, a 4600+. Plus. Uh, right now I only activated 998 megabytes of RAM, and uh, the swap file is like also the same. Here we see the display, 6800GT. 256 megabytes of RAM, it doesn't show everything for some reason. And yeah, uh, it's the latest available drivers for it. Because it's a rather new card. And um, okay, so what did it take for it to run? Well, first of all, an internet connection, but it's not plugging right now. So I can't really show everything about that. Our internet sucks. <coughs> at the moment, sorry YouTube and for Minecraft to run I needed Java I'm running Java 6 the latest available version of Java available for 98 and no I'm not running like any compatibility layers for this to work this is a pure 98 install at least for Java 6 I do have kernel EX installed, but not for use with Minecraft. Okay, so here we got Minecraft. It's uh, it's stored here on the hard drive. Uh, here it's where it's installed. You know, on a newer my, uh, Windows installed it, uh, install, it would be placed in you know the app data folder, but since Windows 98 doesn't have it. It puts it in the Windows directory. So that's where the game is stored. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so let's launch it. And uh, of course, even, even if I would have Internet Connect, uh, it wouldn't have uh, displayed anything because it's an old launcher and yeah, it's really out of date. Nothing, yeah, no more update notes for this. So, here is the deal breaker with Minecraft on 98. Um, you can't really run newer versions of Minecraft because it's running Java 6 and newer Minecraft releases, I think, require Java 8. So, quite out of date. But at least 1.7.10 works, and uh, it works even better with Optify installed, so that's what I have. So let's boot it up. I already got the game downloaded and stuff, so it really don't have to download anything. So let's see how, how the game works. Let it load. It should work rather quickly. For some reason, the logo here is blue. I don't know what about what is about that. Let's make it, yeah, take it up more space. These these are just test worlds, but we can make our own. Let's just have it at that. Sorry, I should probably fix some better artifacting when I do videos like this, but. I really want to get this video out. At least it's 60 FPS. <clears throat> okay, see? The world loaded just fine. And uh, here's settings. I got it on fancy. 
smooth max uh, smooth lightning at maximum so it looks rather good no shaders of course details uh, water is fast but for the most part unchanged here animations um, yeah seems to be all on I could probably decrease particles um, auto save every th 3 minutes um, here, it's, here is where it's interesting um, I activated uh, fast math, fast rendering it really makes a difference or at least on newer versions when running on Windows 7 and XP but not too much here but it makes it a little smoother I think this had a positive effect so I will put turn it on so let's and also for render distance okay so here it is running and here is the frame rate 22 okay it's a little low it's a little okay see 70 fps rather impressive and you see the frame graph down here so we can see when it gets choppy and uh, yeah bad performance and so far here on this little island with not much we get rather good performance and see now we got some lag spikes when opening the inventory but still holds up quite well but one thing I noticed is that it uh, tanks rather bad when it gets to the nether so okay yeah let's see how that goes da -da 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 -da. okay now we got nether and oh you see that still it's loading for the first time so I'll give it that but it's taking its time okay let's see if it can load everything before we do anything yeah you see it's more sh a lot more choppy than before there we got the log spike but I mean it's rather impressive because Minecraft is 10 years newer than 98 Windows 98 oh damn the lag but see it's running uh, almost fine almost with 16 FPS or something can I like turn it down a little can I turn it down to 2 that's the most CPU intensive option but I don't think it's gonna change much okay it's a little more stable I, I said a little more stable okay I think we should go back to the overworld let's build a portal here Let's load the overworld, and, uh, and yeah, it's very impressive that it's running at all. And yeah, I've been doing some benchmarks for this computer, so we'll get a full length video on it at a later date, probably in August. And uh, yeah, I got some more videos coming up soon, along with that, so that will be interesting. And yeah, Minecraft running on 98. And yeah, any, if you haven't checked out Raga One's video yet, yeah, do that. It's really fun to see newer games run on older hardware and software. And w by saying software, I mean like older Java versions and OS versions. 
so yeah that was it in this video and yeah this is not my skin so yeah have a nice day and see you all around bye bye